Welcome back to RTC, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Craig, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Axis Control to build your own very rifle racks. I know I've already done how to build and the stacking uh, video as well, but some people are having a bit of trouble doing it, so I'm doing a more detailed one with some visual aid that I hope that people would like to see. So anyway, we're going to go over here to this wall, which has the basic controls down, not all of them, but most of them you'll understand once you get these main ones down, okay? So right now, the first step you need to do is going to your pip boy to weapons or whichever one you should want to stack. I'd like to point out that mainly at the moment, laser rifles, sniper rifles, uh, submachine guns, and some combat rifles actually stack on the wall pretty nicely, and assault rifles as well. So it'll take a bit of time and fidgeting to do that, but hopefully it'll work out pretty well for you guys in the near future. But anyway, we're going to drop this rifle. Right now, the rifle's on the ground, so we go to the touchpad first. We hold it down till we're in workshop mode. Then we press X. See here, I'm moving it with the left trigger, or left uh, L2 and R2 right now. It's on the floor where it should be at the moment. You should not lift it up and have it like this because it won't stick anywhere. So you basically pick which direction you want the weapon to go, go in. So I'm going to have it like so in the middle so the scope is sticking outwards so we're going to drop that weapon there and now since we're out of workshop mode now this is where the most important part comes in you hold down x while looking at the weapon till you have it till it goes a bit in the air and you can lift it up now we're going to try the left the l2 and the r2 now see that it spins different ways instead of going up and down so we click on the thumbstick the left thumbstick for sprinting by the way while you're in this mode press it once and there you go the weapon now goes like this so now we're going to place the weapon on the wall actually I'm going to fix this up a bit you can change which direction it goes in when you uh, have it like the way you want to you can click it again it goes up and down left or right till it just basically reaches all sorts of control over it I just want it a bit straighter Perfect. Now it's there, and now we're back at the left, and we're down, back at the uh, up and down. So you have to click the thumbstick once, then test which angle it's going in, going in. And if that doesn't work, click the thumbstick again to change it to a different direction. Now we're going to go over here and put the weapon on the shelf. Right then, as you can see here, it has push X at the end of it. So once you get the weapon on the shelf of your choice, and once you feel like it's actually in there, move the camera up and down. And see will it not go any further down to make sure you're at the right depth for it then press x once and walk away and then you there you have it you have a stacked weapon so guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry that i'm going over information i've already done again but some people are having a bit of trouble with it so you know it's my best way to help them is to show them with some so, somewhat of a visual aid hopefully you guys enjoyed the video you know leave a like comment whatever like all, all the usual things if you want just uh, hit me up on this, talk to me on the comment section if you want more help, and I will do a video straight away showing you how I do it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, you know, as I said before, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know, the usual buzz, and uh, for new subscribers as well, who are wanting out to stack weapons properly, go for it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time on RTC.